Information Info Cloud for trading and prediction. And basically, you're going to learn how to what Ichimo Cloud is all about, how to understand it, how to use it for prediction, how to how it tells you understand how it tells you where the price is going to, and how you can when to enter the price and when to short, when to long. Uh, it tells you about the resistance and the support as well. So, does how does it work? Then you're going to talk on the positive how to positive leverage on. And I have to increase when you're starting the car. Okay, okay, so let's see. Uh, let me go to my. Let's go to my. Uh, let's go to my. Test let's do my test next please. Actually, at the moment too. So, uh, just a quick at this I can actually put it just for coming in new, so we can be able to understand and use this. Uh, this medium for trading it doesn't include all the fund. It's a free account. If you want to have one, just type testnet.bitmex.com. You're going to put the account freely, and you're going to be given about 0.01 x BTC for you to trade freely with it. For it's just more like a signature trading, more like uh, a demo account that make you understand how to trade, and you can use that to train yourself before you actually put your actual money into. Uh, the cryptocurrency trading platform. Okay, so today we are going to be talking on Ichimo Cloud. So let me start up my Ichimo. So to like I said in the last video, because if you want to include, we have different tab on the chat. We have the time interval. We have the candlestick charts. We styles and bars, and we have the indicator. So but it, the indicator I'm going to be tagged with Ishimoku Cloud. Okay? Okay. So I have my Ishimoku Cloud indicated on this chart right now. And from what you can see, how the price movement is going to happen, what's going to happen in the future. It tells you about the future. You can understand that right now. You can see what is happening here right now. Like we, we, the, 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 this is the current time in which we are right now, but the Ishimoku Cloud has already gone ahead to predict what is going to happen in the future. Okay, so that's one of the beauty of this uh, this cloud. It is actually one of the beauties. So, to we, it has a default setting, and to go with that, you can actually come here. We have these are the basic input for the Ishimoku Cloud. We have conversion line period. We have baseline. We have the lagging span and we have a displacement. The displacement is actually uh, how the time interval, how long you want it to predict into the future for you. Like you want to know the this is actually uh, I'm in the one hour chart right now so I'm going to predict uh, six hour, uh, 26 hours ahead of the uh, 26 hours ahead of the in, uh, current time. So you can see that increase it right now. You can see the chart moving forward. So the chart is moving forward that's by one hour more and increasing that's two hour more okay so we it's basically what it actually uh, you can use default setting and you can make uh, uh, optimize the setting basically so we have the styles you can increase the thickness of the lines let's say let me just make things obvious i'm going to increase the thickness of the line okay so you can understand basically what i'm talking about And with this, good. So with this, we have my settings range. Okay, good. I think it's more obvious right now. So you can see the deep, the very deep red color. We can see the blue red color. We can see the green. We can see the cloud itself. Okay, the lead, the lead one and the lead two. Now we have, like I said initially, we have the conversion line. For Ishimoku Cloud, we have, we have the conversion line, which is the blue line. We have the baseline, which is the red line. Remember, like the deep red line. Or wine. That wine or deep red. Or the deep red line. We have the span, which is the green layer. Yeah, then we have the displacement, which is the future. Okay? So, on that note, uh, let's go back to our chart. Good. So, as I said earlier, we have the conversion line, which is the blue line. We have the uh, the baseline, which is this red line. 
okay, that's the distance is this red line, that's the blue line. We have the green line, which is the leaf line, and we have the cloud, okay? Basically, in uh, Ishimoku, whenever the blue line, I mean, your conversion line, whenever your conversion line crosses above the baseline, that indicates a bull, a bear, a bull, a bull market. That means indicates you should belong that the price is going higher. Whenever the uh, uh, the baseline, let's say whenever the inverse happens, that is whenever the baseline is above the conversion line, that means the price is going down. That predicts the, the, the value of the, the price, of the market price that is going down. And you can study that from what we have from here. You can see. But now the blue line, the conversion line is below the baseline, the price keep coming down. Conversion line below the baseline, the price keep coming down and down and down and down like that. And we have the conversion line where the baseline is above right now. So let's find a place where we have the baseline above the conversion line. Okay, good. So here we have what the baseline, this is where it crosses above the conversion line. You see, as it crosses above the conversion line, we have a pump and we have the boom market. So it's right now the, though the the prediction for the conversion line and the baseline is uh has to do with the current state of the coin like right now we have big price of bitcoin at the moment and we can have see right now the conversion line is below the baseline and the price of the coin is dropping basically using each more cloud it will start to can trade it's not a financial advice anyway but you can just start to trade uh your coin conveniently and make less losses and make more profits in the market just merely using the Ichimoku cloud only it's more or less sufficient for you to trade okay so there are several other indicators we use the EMA, the estimated, uh, exponential moving average we have the moving average we have different other uh, we have the marquee and the rest of it so right now i'm not talking about marquee so let me turn that off so i'm talking about Ichimoku cloud okay and Right now, what you can see, we have the, these are the volume. It shows the volume, the, the coin volume in the market at the moment, the trade volume. Yeah, sorry, the trade volume in the market at the moment. Okay, so with this, we can see that the, the it has already predicted to us that the price is going down and it's going down further. Okay, there are other indicators that be able to tell you if the price is going to go down further or not. Okay, so we're not. not we're using this, it's not really sufficient to some it's, I would say it's very sufficient, but to some extent, something you can very you can use to trade, okay? It's one of the, it's just one of many indicators to use, okay? So, and the beauty of this cloud is you can see whenever the price, whenever the price is above this cloud, you can see here, we're good, let's use the cloud here. As, as you can see here, whenever the cloud, with the, with the uh, what's it called? Whenever the price, the candlesticks moves above the cloud, that indicates a uh, bull market. That is, the coin is there's, there's, there's a good support and the coin is going up. The price of the coin is actually going up. But whenever it's actually below the cloud and the cloud turns red, that means we are having what? Yeah, that means we are having a dip. The price of the coin, the, the, the price of the coin this coin right now is actually different now. as you can see from here when the price is the price is below and it shows it here now remember it gives a for a future indication of the price so when bitcoin was here when bitcoin the, when the current price actually was there it was already predicted over here that it is going to dump and we are dumping and when we get here very predicted it's going to dump further and as you can see, it's something that 26 days. Yeah, this hour, yeah. Using the 26 hour different right now, that's what I'm using. As I'm using the default settings to explain right now. So but you can change your settings. Though the settings is not really accurate most time. The default settings is not really the best to use for. Depends on how you want to trade, you can still use it. I tend to put 59 to 20, 20 hours or 20 days, okay? So depending on if you're doing a short time trade or you're doing a long time trade. Uh, basically, in crypto trading, long term trade has to be good for a short term trade. Do the I did the hourly trade. Okay, and now let's go back to let's go into the day day charts. This is the daily charts. Good. In the daily charts, you can see from here. Good. You can see from here. It has already predicted from 
when let's say the, when the price was there, it has already predicted the price the coin is going to go up, and you can see the price of Bitcoin keep going higher and higher and higher and higher, and you can see whenever like I explained earlier, whenever the candlestick is above the cloud, it indicates the bull market. And about the prime this, this is below, and as you can see right now, this is the price of Bitcoin. The candlestick is below the market right now, which indicates we are in the bear market at the moment. We are in the bear market at the moment. That is what the card is actually indicating, which indicates Bitcoin is still going to go down further, according to what, is, what we're seeing here, right? Okay. Uh, I'm not going to be. I'm not. Uh, I won't go deeper into other technical uh, analysis, other indicators you can use to predict the future of the coin. But right now, let's stick to this market card, okay? So, uh, with what I said earlier, we can see from here, just recapping, using, using the daily charts, we can, this is another example, is the conversion line is above the baseline, which indicates we're going to have a bull market. And with that, if you study well, like, okay, we have a crossing, whenever you have a crossing here, if you are doing a short term trade, this would actually help you to indicate, oh, this thing is going to go up, then you can long your coin at this point. If you long your coin at this stage, then you make a profit and get out of profit. Like I always explain in the past, don't be too greedy. Try as much as it's going to be too greedy. Always take your profit. Always take your profit. When you enter the coin, when you enter the market, after having about 100%, 200%, or uh, uh, no, no matter the amount, once you realize you're in the profit, Take your profit and enter the market again. Give room for it for yourself to take your profit and enter the market again. Okay, that's basically you controlling your emotion. Basically, if you're going to earn, you're going to be instantly uh, well in the future market, you need to learn how to control your emotion. If you can't control emotion, you are going to enter a lot of good shit. Sorry. Sorry for the word anyway. But so basically, this is Shimoku Cloud and how it works today. And if you have any other questions, if you have several questions you want to ask, you just put in the comment section. Or you can message me on the WhatsApp. I'll drop my number here as well so you can message me and we can talk further. And if you wish to join my paid class where I get to give basic uh, in-depth technical analysis on how to trade, on how to use several indicators and how to these strategies I basically use. Because reading charts alone, understanding the chart alone is not enough, but having some good strategy that up you in trading with up you will enable you to be able to know how to trade. Even when you are at loss, you know how to adjust to the losses and how to combat your losses to gain and the rest of it. These are things I explained in my uh, in my paid book uh, classes, okay? So with that, I believe you, you should end this class there. You have to do have an amazing day and do have a lovely day. Please. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and God bless.